we'll get into JRPGs in a second, but first of all, we have to introduce Mr. Max Song on the GT stage for the first time. Which camera is the one that I'm supposed to look at? Right there. <laughs> that one. Hello. Right <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, I want to bring you, uh, obviously you're going to be involved more in stuff that we're cutting on the GT side. Uh, you've mm -hmm. worked with Andre Rene for a long time. Yes. Uh, so you'll be coming with us to events and fun stuff and mm -hmm. playing lots of games. So uh, is, was Tales of Exilia very important for you? Was that a game that you really focused on? I, I really love like the Tales series just in general. Um, obviously it's not the first like kind of current gen Tales that they had, um, but this one was the one that like resonated the best because the previous Tales was still good, and there there have been like different iterations of them. But this one was like really nice because it had this really elaborate system of like uh, grouping and having your NPCs actually do something, which is great. Yeah, I, I totally agree. You're referring to Grace's F, is yes. that one port? Yeah, like that one. Like the battle systems in Tales games have always been really awesome. Uh, I like how intricate they are, and I like mm -hmm. that they're real time. Mm -hmm. I've slowly like gotten a distaste of turn-based battles. Yeah, I was actually really surprised when I saw you uh, back in the old office at Station Five playing it, uh, and I remember walking by me like, by God, he actually walked up and hit that thing with a weapon. You know, like yeah. in real time, like you did it. Like it's just so yeah, it, it looked fun. Actually, kind of sold it me. just makes it more engaging and active, yeah. and I understand that like turn-based RPGs were what it was for like almost 15 years, and now active-based ones are. I just feel like I want a little bit more action in my RPGs. Uh, I, it still has, I agree. Yeah. I think it's a matter of like pacing because before that's the only thing that we had, and I, I don't know. I feel like when I was a child, I had way more ample time than now. But like, <laughs> it's just a matter of like it engaging me, you know. And I feel like that's sort of the way that all RPGs are going, like the turn-based is either like a niche or it's really, really rare. So, I mean, but, you know, um, some JRPGs now are still striving on that, like uh, Bravely Default. Like that's, Child of Light, brand that's, new game, yeah. brand new IP, you know, brand new tech behind that game, but still intentionally turn-based. Yeah. So there, there's still, uh, you know, a market for it, but, you know, the thing that I loved about Tales, you know, the whole saga of Tales was just the fact that you could do that. You could, like, move in and, you know, just kind of, have more control over your RPG than just it being like a dice roll. So yeah, I totally agree. And you were mentioning like you know with Exilia what it did better than Grace's. I just didn't really get. I didn't like Grace's cast. Yeah. I couldn't get into it. I couldn't get into the story. And Exilia kind of felt to me harkening a little bit back more to like Vesperia style. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I love Vesperia. This and Exilia was more of what I wanted with that. I kind of liked at the beginning. Initially, they like you could pick either a Mila or, or Jude. Uh, a Jude. And I was like, all right, maybe there's gonna be two different stories. It didn't exactly pan out that way. You got a few like insights into them. But I just like the cast of that. I was like, I wanna play as these characters. I like, actually wanna see their storylines come to a resolution. Whereas I didn't really have that feeling in Graces. Uh, the, what I really loved about this one was, I mean, all tales have, you know, like the little side story, like, uh, you know, them all having a conversation with each other. I just felt like this cast was like a little bit more lively. And that way I felt like, oh, I want to invest in these people. And also just the story in, in and of itself and having, you know, those centralized characters, like, and realizing what their role is. Like, cause you know, Mila is a, is a god, essentially. Yeah. So you have a god and a dude. And so, you know, if there isn't going to be some sort of interesting dynamic, then I mean, I really don't know what you could possibly get, you know? But um, I, I just thought that the characters uh, also, the way that they fought was very specialized, you know? You needed to have them linked to a certain partner to get a certain result. There's always that, like, element-based stuff, but it's this one was really more, like, healing and magic, and then, like, support magic and physical, like, in-your-face kind of action, too. So there was, like, a lot more tactics behind it. Definitely. I actually liked in uh, Exilia 2 uh, how uh, your main character Luger, he actually has like a hammer and he has guns yeah. and now who you link up with like it actually improves so like uh, Alvin uses guns so when you wanted to use guns you wanted to link with him mm -hmm. and then like when you went to hammer you wanted to link with Leia to have like the staff like dual staff stuff going on like that yeah. and I was like they wanted you to like link with like Jude or Rowan when you're using like you know your blades it's like oh this is kind of an interesting mechanic so I, I kind of liked how they added that extra layer on there mm -hmm. But in general, I felt it was a little underutilized. Unless you play like on the hardest difficulty settings, mm -hmm. like on the normal difficulty, it didn't feel like you were really were required to use that as much. Yeah. So I, I don't know how you felt about that. If you really were using the weapon switching a lot, or if you found yourself just sticking to like one mostly. I, I guess it really depends on the situation. But for the most part, I never really needed to switch. So it was just more of a now I want to do a cool switchy move. Like because for the most part. You know, that game is, it's kind of a grinder, and you'll never really run into like a really, really difficult enemy. 
for the most part, you, everything is manageable, you know? So it's really just a matter of like how you want to play it and like how stylish you want to be about it for the most part. I, I honestly thought that like, I didn't really need to, you know? There was nothing that ever forced me, which is actually what I thought was kind of sad about this game was that it was kind of a clone of just original Zillia. Yeah. And yeah. so there wasn't really a challenge because then it kind of just, like the story is, is really just bonkers like right from the beginning, <laughs> which is great. But at the same time, just like the mechanics itself was kind of like they added some stuff, but it was still really like copy paste. Kind of feeling. Yeah. So, what 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 are we gonna get next from the Tales series? And oh. did you like this kind of sequel experiment with getting like a little more from like something we've already played? I mean, I like some of the concepts they introduced. I, I liked how they went took it even step further to try and focus on like the character mm -hmm. chapters and gave you more insight. That was like my biggest gripe with of the game is that it felt too much like the previous game, not just like mm -hmm. the world, but the mechanics. It just added just a little bit more. Yeah. It's like, man, you should just like give me a new world to explore with these mechanics. I loved Exilia One's mechanics. Just Give me something a little bit new, so I'm excited about seeing these like new places. But going back to the same areas again and again, I was like, oh, I kind of just spent 40, 50 hours in the last game doing this. Yeah. I don't need to do this again. Uh, so I don't know if you got like that really got on your nerves or something. Or it did. Okay. The only thing that saved it for me was like the character Luger as a character is really interesting because you are Luger, and that's sort of the thing entails that you you never really get is you have your set characters and they have this set story that they've already established but this time you get to like make the choices that really affect the world which you know I on the fly I thought you know like what is this really gonna do is it gonna be one of those things where it's like you choose whatever and then eventually just kind of comes to the same conclusion anyway which I did experiment and it does kind of do that but um, yeah I liked I liked having to be the guy that responds so that was kind of cool yeah and as he was like mentioning with the story choice, I, I feel a lot of games, even like a game like sorry, like The Walking Dead, you ultimately kind of come, at least in season one, I haven't played season two, but season yeah. one, you ultimately kind of come to the same fin you know, final outcome. How, how you get there is a little bit different, but there isn't too much change. It's the illusion that every choice you make might have serious implications going on the road. And there were some points in Exilia 2 I was like, oh man, like I won't spoil it, but there's one part where you can either let go of a character to save another one or hold on. And I was like, oh no, yeah. I almost let the timer run out. I was like, crap, this is like, I don't like this it's, choice it's at so all. It's so nerve wracking. Yeah. And sometimes it's just really nice to be like, oh, I want to make this curry or make this tomato thing. Like those, just those little things, <laughs> oh, like yeah. for some reason, like they really speak to me because then I'm like, oh my God, this guy has a domestic life too. Like, you know, <laughs> like really get in his brain space. Yeah. And I think something you see uh, in my experience with JRPGs, kind of more experimental, fun story stuff like that, like kind of a focusing on the, the humor or or the lifestyle of a situation that uh, you know bigger games like Dragon Age will just kind of bowl right over. Yeah. You know, they're more worried about the big picture than really getting to know these smaller characters and doing the fun side story stuff. I thought we were going to get a great debate going here, but you guys are just getting along swimmingly. Uh, <laughs> nice. You're going to go over uh, uh, to his bay and pick his brain about Tales of Exilia a little bit more? Yeah, definitely <laughs> other, in other JRPGs and stuff. Yeah, I love I love JRPGs. So, yeah. Well, more coming, so we'll <sighs> see you again, Max. Perfect. Thanks for coming on.